guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. So we are out for a shopping trip today. Um, as promised, I've brought you here to the shops. I'm here at our branch of the range and I am armed with 20 pounds. So we're going to go in and get some beginner's um, junk journal supplies with our 20 pounds. So hopefully we're going to kind of do quite well and you're gonna have tons of things that you'll be able to use in your journals. So it's super bright out here, but it's super freezing. So let's get in and see what we can find. Okay, so I'm heading straight to the craft aisle. And what we want to do is have a look possibly for some pattern papers and things like that. So in this aisle here, we've got lots of different patterned papers and they've got kind of, you know, what I would call their budget range, which is awesome because they're obviously not going to kind of set you back too much. So let's just have a look and see the books that they've got. So they've got some of these, which they're calling these a paper block. Now these are quite nice. They seem to have a mixture of vellum and patterned papers and possibly some die cuts and things. So these would be a really good option because you'd have lots of different patterns and what have you. And once you copy dye them, they're all going to look quite vintage. So let's just have a look and see what, what the different patterns are like. Oh, that's, that's not going to work, okay. They've got smaller ones for only a pound. They're like six by six paper pads. So let's just have a look. And then they've got these ones, which are slightly dearer. These are four pounds 29. So let's see what's in here. This is quite thick paper. So for your altered book, these might be a little bit too thick to use. Uh, let's have a look and see what this one is. Oh, no, I think that's the same as the one that we just looked at. Okay, they've got this one. This one looks quite pretty. So we'll just see. I mean, this has got some lovely images, to be honest. Yep, I mean, that would work. And the paper's not too, too thick in here, but let's have a look and see what they've got a bit lower down on the shelf. So um, let's just see. Okay, they've actually got some paper pads that are called journaling design pads. I mean, to be honest, they're quite modern looking, so I don't think they're really going to look overly vintage with your stuff. So let's just go down to the bottom shelf here. Okay, they've got one left of this. This is called Soft Romance. Okay, so this has got much more vintagey looking papers in it. So they've only got one of these. This is a colleague announcement. Can a colleague Martin come ask about me, please? Oh, excuse that announcement there. So they've just got one of these it's quite pretty um you know you could copy dye this and then it would look much more vintage they've got this one but again it's pretty modern um but i mean obviously it depends what look you're going for if you're looking for a more modern look then you know that might be just ideal for you i'll just have a look at this one they normally have a better selection than this um but i'm guessing kind of with the pandemic and things they're obviously you know not got such a good good range as normal so let's just have a look at this one okay fresh florals Aww. okay so i'm going to pick up this one for the moment and we'll just have a look along and see if they've got any others so hold on okay so further along they've got these six by six ones like i said that are actually only a pound the only problem is with these they're very thin um the paper is very thin so we seem to have kind of a problem of either the paper being a bit thick or a little bit on the thin side and when the paper's really thin, you're going to kind of possibly see your glue um, through it, you know. But, I mean, it's maybe an option for things that aren't going to be kind of glued down and things like that. So, let's just have a look and see. We've got this one here. Let's just check out what this one is. So, oops. I mean, this, what's quite nice about this, it's got lots of kind of what we would call die cut pieces. So they're just kind of little bits that you could use as journaling cards and things like that. I mean, again, this isn't really my cup of tea as styles go, but I like the format that it's got lots of different bits and pieces, you know, for you to use. So I'm just going to kind of move my way down the, down the shelf or down the, down the rows. They've got this one here. So this is quite a good thickness of paper. I'm not sure it's quite such my cup of tea 
style wise but paper thickness wise this is perfect um, I don't know whether it says oh, this is 200 GSM so you know it's a good thickness for your papers I'm just seeing whether they've got that in any other any other designs I can't see any other designs at the moment so I'm just going to have a look on the end in case they've got any okay, more. Okay, I haven't been able to find any other paper pads in this aisle but I'll just quickly stop and show you the other thing that I was specifically looking for which I haven't been able to find so far is some stamps so you get clear stamps which are brilliant for obviously adding lots of detail and different looks to your journals now they have got a few packets personally they haven't really got anything that I would really want to be using they've got kind of a fairy and a unicorn um, a little toadstool up there there's nothing that's kind of grabbing me I mean I really quite like a flourish or um, butterflies and things like that I can't see any in here at the moment um, but you may have kind of different stamps obviously in your craft store so if you have some stamps are definitely a good buy and these are ranging around about between yeah between like four and eight pounds depending on the stamp and then you'd probably need a block which again is about another three pounds but once you've got the block that's going to last for you know a really long time and obviously you can stamp you know use lots of different stamps with your block and again your stamps are going to last for literally years and years so you know it's quite a good investment and then you've got ink here now they've got different ink pads they have got their own brand well actually it's not their own brand it's Dovecraft um, ink pads and then they've got other ink pads here from Dewcraft now I have to say I really love these ones which are stays on now these are 4 dollars so they're a lot pricier than these which are only 1 49 so depending on kind of how committed you are I guess to your your crafting will depend which ink you go for the stays on what's brilliant about that sorry sorry there was another announcement um the great thing is with stays on that literally is for any surface you can stamp on glass you could stamp on you know um acetate anything at all and it's going to stay on basically it's a very permanent ink um so you may or may not want to kind of invest in that but like i say that one's 4.99 and that's quite a good price because i think on amazon it's sometimes about 5.50 5.70 um so yeah that's kind of um your range of stamps so we're going to go into the next aisle and just see what's down there okay so we're in the next aisle and they've got a few more paper pads um down here now these are kind of more premium type paper pads because these are 7.99 that other one was only 2.99 so we'll just have a kind of flick through i mean they're lovely papers to be honest but you know there's no need to spend 7.99 these are absolutely lovely too i mean this is gorgeous 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 but you might want to flick through and kind of just judge if you're not likely to use all of them i mean for instance i would probably not use this but it's double-sided and the rear is spotty so I probably would use that. Although now I'm looking, I'm thinking it might be a little hot. So I can't really see, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't use it if it was hot, probably, but I would use it if it was polka dot. Um, so yeah, I mean, you may want to just weigh up how many of the designs you're going to really like to use. I mean, like this, I definitely would not use. But the other side is this, which I would use. So kind of have a look and see, you know, and judge which one is best for you. I mean again these are 12 by 12 paper pads so you don't have to go for those they also have much smaller paper pads so this one here is oh this is a six by six of this same design so again you know it's worth having a look around and kind of deciding do you want to go for a smaller paper pad in the more premium paper if you see what i mean in the more premium design um you know because if you really love this pattern over this this is going to be a cheaper option for you now just having a look because i've just spotted they've got more stamps here again they just haven't really got you know a great range to be honest so out of these stamps here i would most likely use these but again i mean they're just flowers and really you know if i were buying a stamp set to start me off i'd really want some butterflies in there and things like that which obviously this doesn't contain so i'm going to have a look around and see if we can find another option um, for the flowers 
but I've just spotted up the top that they've got more of the six by six papers up here. Oops, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, this is a topper pack, so I'm going to pull that down and we'll have a look at that. And then these are some other paper pads. These are $3.99 from what I can see. So they're cheaper, but again, they are that six by six size. So let's just have a look in this one. So this is some sort of die cut, well actually they're not die cut pieces, but it's your shaped pieces, flowers and things like that, which you could cut out. Now this is a decoupage set. So as you go through, you're going to have kind of bits of flowers because you're obviously layering them up. It's really for sort of card making more, but there's no reason why you couldn't use these bits in your journals. Um, and again, something like this, is a really great option when you're starting out because it's got lots of different flowers. Just going to see if there's one that's actually already unsealed so that I can show you in there. Okay, so I managed to find one open. There's always, there's always one, isn't there, when you look through the pile that is open. So this is the inside of this pad. So hopefully you can kind of see the way that the flowers are kind of graduated and you've got different sizes to layer them up. Now, obviously for your junk journal, you might not use, you know, all of these. Like for instance, you might not use this little piece but you could definitely use all of these. So although this is 4 dollars I think you're going to get loads and loads and loads of different pieces out of this. So it's unfortunate because it's not actually a die cut pack. You'd have to actually sit and fussy cut these out. But again, I mean, it's a great thing to do while you're sat watching TV or something. So I'm going to grab this because I think that's going to be really fun. So, so far I've got obviously my patterned paper and I've got a pack of flowers. And then here, actually in the same aisle, is um, you know what's known as kind of paper flowers. So I'm going to grab a little packet of these. These are only 99p, so they're quite a good buy. And obviously you can see they've got them in kind of different colorways, but I might just go for the white ones, I think. Um, or the brown. Maybe it would be quite a good neutral one. Um, just having a look. I mean, again, I probably wouldn't use those ones with the hearts, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm just going to kind of see against my papers that I'm getting. I mean, obviously the red is quite nice and we have got a red theme going on through our journal already. Um, Oh, it's a tough choice, isn't it? I mean, the good thing is with these, you could kind of technically, you could colour these a little bit with your pencils or, you know, maybe if you've got some pens and things like that. Um, oh, it's a bit of a tough choice. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to pick up the two for the moment and we'll just see how much our stuff comes to in a minute. So. I think we've got, um, this was five pounds and then this was um, three. So we're up to eight pounds. So we're up to 10 pounds with those bits so far. And we've got obviously 20 pounds that we bought with us. So let's have a look and see what else we might need. Okay, so down that same aisle, they've got this um, shelf here, which is lots of this stuff from this range called Bare Basics. It's by Do Crafts. And I've just spotted that they've got this kind of Hessian ribbon um, type stuff. Now you may find this quite handy, but it is two pounds. It is nine meters, so you've got plenty of it, but I'm wondering whether we could, you know, that would be better spent, but I'm going to pick it up and we'll see. Okay, so now I'm down kind of um, what I would call the kind of kids uh, craft section, but don't overlook it because there's loads of really quite good things here. So you may want to grab a couple of things here. They're really good prices. I mean, a lot of the things here are only one pound, which is absolutely fantastic. So like here, for instance, they've got, packs of these little flowers which are only one pound which actually is really good value and so I'm thinking if I get the flowers that we just picked up and maybe a packet of these and then I would layer the flowers up so I think yeah I think that's probably a better kind of buy I still don't know whether to get the red or the white oh it's a tough decision Oh, I'm going to get the white, I think. And um, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to coffee dye them. So we'll see. And then, sorry, I just had to get back up. Um, we'll just have a look down along here. They also sell that bling that I love using. 
but they've only got it in coloured. They don't seem to have that black one with the silver that I really love. Um, yeah, I can't see it anywhere. But if you wanted some bling, you know, you could get some coloured. And obviously in your branch, they may have different, different colours. So we're just going to go along and see what else is down here. Now over on this side, they've got the flat back pearls and things. And as you know, I absolutely love using these in my flowers and things. These again, they're only a pound and you get 88 in that packet. So they're pretty good value. But we picked up these little flowers, which have already got a centre in them. So it kind of eliminates your need for, for these. Um, you know, so it's up to you really. But let's just have a look and see what else they've got further along in this aisle. So they've got some other paper pads again down here. So I'm just going to check and make sure that we So I'm just going to check and make sure that we've picked up the ones, you know, that we most like. So these ones, by the looks of things, these are quite sort of kiddie um, uh, paper packs. I mean, they're quite nice, but yeah, they're, they're quite kiddie orientated. They have these goodie bags. Um, I have personally never bought one of these. But, you know, have a look in and you may find that something like this would be quite good value. It's £15. Um, the only thing is, you know, often it's not going to be kind of the vintage style that you are maybe after. But, you know, have a look and see because you might not be going for a vintage style. Sorry, that was another announcement there. So I just had to shut the camera off. Um, have a look though, because, I mean, you might not be going for a vintage style anyway, in which case, you know, you may find that this is quite a good buy for you. So I'm just going to check that they haven't got any other stamps or anything. Again, they've got more stamps here, but they're sort of, again, quite childlike in their style. So I think that's probably about it. They have also got some more flowers here, actually, which I'm just going to kind of show you these because you may find that these actually are quite a good option. So let me just pull these out. So I think these are £1.50, but these obviously, as you can see, they've got various different colours in. So I think you get, oh, I'm just trying to see, 30 flowers. And in that little pot that we picked up, we get 24 in here. These, I think, are £1.50 and these are £1. So, you know, there's sort of much for muchness price-wise, really. Um, but I'm just going to stick with the white ones. So let's just have another look. Okay, so further along here, I did notice that they did have some more bling. Again, they still didn't have the um, black that I love using, but they've got some more. They've got this, which is kind of like beady type looking bling, but they've also got some more here where they've got blue and pink. Um, you know, so lots of interesting things down this aisle too. Okay, so I'm down with the ribbons and things, and I just want to quickly point out, because I do get loads of people asking where I buy my bling from, and on here they've got this this bling here again it's not that black one with the silver but they have got the all silver there and they've got some pearly bling as well again it's not that pearly bling that i use sometimes or the pearly trim but it's it's a pearly trim of sorts so you may want to pick up something like that and then i'm going to just pick up some crochet lace so again they've got these wide laces here so I'm just going to grab one of these now they're not the biggest I think it's one meter it's one meter but it's going to go quite a long way it's only a pound so I'm going to grab that okay so randomly the other section that I'm just going to have a bit of a check out is here in this kids kind of coloring book section because obviously I had really wanted to get some stamps and I couldn't find any so I'm wondering whether we might be able to find some colouring books along here with some images that we could tear out, you know, cut around and coffee dye that would appear a bit like stamped items. So let's just have a bit of a look and see, see whether they've got anything. Um, oh, hold on. What's this one down here? Oh, we've got this one around the world doodle book. Although that's a doodle book, it might not have actual pictures of colours. So I don't really want that. But they've got this one, a butterfly book. 
I mean, obviously that's not quite what I had in mind, but... Okay, so they have got quite a few images in here, but to be honest, you could just copy dye these and then you could actually cut out those butterflies to use in your journal. They're just kind of a really great way to, um, you know, decorate your pages and things like that. So, yeah, I'm thinking this might be quite a good purchase. And to be honest, you know, once they're coffee dyed, they're going to look completely transformed, you know, to how they look now. And you've got lots of different type, um, type butterflies. So, although this is three pounds, I think you're going to get quite a lot of, um, you know, butterflies to cut out from this. So I'm going to put this in my little basket as well. Okay, so we're nearly done. Um, I'm just down, back down that first aisle where they've got the card blanks and envelopes because I then thought actually another thing that would be quite handy is obviously some blank card. So they've got here, it's Anita's um, Do Craft, Anita's uh, square textured white cards and envelopes. So this is a pack of 25 and it's got obviously the, you know, the cards and the envelopes, which you would be able to use obviously both in your journals. And yeah, I think they would be quite handy. So they're 2 dollars Now they've also got, so that's a 25 pack, or they've also got the five by seven textured cards and envelopes. This is a 20 pack, but it's the same price. I'm kind of thinking the small ones because we're doing an altered book and so the book is not too, too big. So these I think would be better, you know, for the size of page, but obviously it will depend on the size of your book. Um, if you're doing a, you know, bigger book, you may prefer bigger um, cards and envelopes. So that's nearly it. The only other thing that I want to go and grab is just a pack of normal envelopes. But again, you know, you could probably use junk mail envelopes or anything else, but Let's go and quickly grab some of that and then I think we're done. Okay, so I'm just here with the envelopes now and I'm just going to pick up this, which is a 50 pack of what we call DL envelopes. And that's only one pound. They're in brown. I go for the brown, sorry, that was another announcement there. I go for the white ones rather than, uh, sorry, the brown ones rather than the white ones because the white ones are blue inside, which I'm not so keen on. So. I like to go for the brown ones really because they're just completely brown inside and out. So I think that's pretty much it. And um, yeah, let's go and pay. Okay, so we are back from our shopping trip. For me, it's actually the next day, um, but for you guys, obviously it will be in the same video. And let's go through the things that we bought. So I bought this um, paper pad. So it's 12 by 12 paper pad and we've got a whole variety of different patterned papers. So that was really good. We bought some envelopes, just some plain brown DL envelopes. We bought a pack of four by four square textured white cards and envelopes. So we've got cards there and envelopes that we can be using. I bought the flowers and I also bought the packet of white flowers. So for kind of layering up, so we've got those. I did buy the um, burlap roll. As I say, that had nine meters. So, I mean, that's going to last for absolutely ages, but you know, that's going to give quite a nice look, hopefully in our book. And then I did buy the roll of lace. That was only one pound. And then my two kind of probably splurgy, what I would call my splurgier items really, um, was I bought the butterfly colouring book. And I'm going to show you in a second what I'm planning on doing with this, um, how I'm planning on using this. Um, so I've got that, that was three pounds if I recall. And then I got this one, which again, this was quite a splurgy item. It was five pounds, but we've got all of these flowers that we can just fussy cut out and use in our journals and to be honest you know these are going to last for absolutely ages i don't know how many pages there are um 48 pages i think so i mean 48 pages that's going to last you you know quite a few journals to be honest so that although sounds quite a pricey item i think you know you're going to get really a lot of money's worth and enjoyment out of that 
So yeah, the whole lot came to, I think it was £19.96. So spent that whole £20. But we have got a lot of things here. And this is not going to just do that journal. This is going to last for, you know, quite a few journals, to be honest, you could get out of this. I mean, the problem is you're going to get bored of this stash and then you're going to add to it. And um, yeah, inevitably you're going to buy more different things because that's what we as crafters do. But this is a really good supply, I think, to get you started. Um, you know, and £20 hopefully is kind of not too, too much that we've spent. So I'm just going to give you one or two suggestions and ideas that I would now do um, with a couple of these things before we get using them. So let me just move them onto my, onto my lap so they're out of the way. So I'm going to bring in some of these little bits and pieces first. Okay. And we could even bring... Should we bring this one in? Oh, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, the, yeah. Well, well, we'll have a look. We'll have a play and see kind of what we're going to do. Um, so what I've got is I've got my little pot of, or my little cup of coffee. <laughs> it's not my drinking coffee, obviously. I'm not really a big coffee drinker anyway, but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I've got my paintbrush in the coffee. So this is going to be nice, um, you know, quick and easy way to coffee dye some things without making too, too much mess. So all I'm going to do is coffee dye a few of the things that we've bought. So I'm going to coffee dye some of these white cards and envelopes. So oops, let me just unwrap those. Oh, hold on. Okay. And obviously you could keep that package in and use that for something as well. I've, I've thrown my way because I really need to uh, stop having so many, so many supplies. So I'm just going to grab just a few of those put the rest on the floor out of the way and then I'm going to grab a couple of pages of the fussy cut flowers like that and we'll do because this has got two different designs so I'll just grab out a couple of the pages obviously I'm not going to sit here and coffee dye everything um, you know which would be really boring so let me put that on the floor out of the way and then what I also want to do is coffee dye some of these um, pages in the colouring book and the reason I want to do that is because I'm wanting to get sort of a vintagey look in my journal so obviously I don't want to kind of have these looking like they're from a colouring book so I'm hoping that these are going to take on a really nice vintagey effect once I coffee dye them so I'm just going to select the ones with some nice nice butterflies on them and obviously you know there's a whole bunch of different designs and things so some are going to be you know better to use than others really this has got lots of different ones so that's just a good um you know starting point I think really so all I'm going to do is just now get some... okay right I'm just going to take my coffee and I'm just going to coffee dye some of these bits and pieces just by painting over them like that. Okay. And then once these dry and we cut them out, hopefully, you know, the plan is these are going to look really quite transformed from how they're looking currently on the, you know, on the page. So just put these to one side as I go. And like I say, I mean, some of these are going to be nicer than others or you know work better than others but hopefully we're going to have a good variety of things to use and it's just kind of an alternative because obviously I had stamps really in mind um you know because I love using stamps but because I couldn't find any nice stamp sets I thought this would be perhaps a good you know good alternative so I haven't ever tried using something like this before it's a first for me so it, it may be a terrible idea after all but I'm hoping that this is just going to give me plenty of butterflies and things to be able to work with and um, use. So I'll just put those out of the way. Okay and this last sheet here. So I mean again you know I wouldn't necessarily use all of these different ones but I mean certainly like this one here is lovely. So you know, I'm not going to kind of be too worried about covering the entire page because I'm really just focusing on the, 
you know the main ones that I want to use so again just leave that to dry okay and then do exactly the same going over for my flowers we just coffee dye those and you know again I mean you could cut these out first to be honest you don't have to coffee them dye them first either is fine um, I'm just doing this because of course you know I'm doing a video and so it was kind of the sequence of things but you know maybe I would typically actually fussy cut these out and then coffee dye them um, you know while I'm watching TV in the evening just cut some out and then coffee dye them afterwards okay so again just going all over don't need to worry too much about you know getting it all over the page because it's just the pieces that we're going to be cutting out and using really so like that that to one side and then obviously those envelopes and those cards so again just go all over the envelope like that okay I mean actually my coffee's been sat here for a couple of days so it's actually kind of gone much darker than it started um so I probably could do with adding a bit more water to it if I'm honest because for me this looks a little bit too too dark now but again I'm not going to stress about it I'll just go with it now and then do exactly the same on the card part of the envelope and cards set because then I've got some lovely thicker card that's also coffee dyed then ready to use so okay I mean, it's coming out very, very dark on this. So definitely, you know, I could definitely do with watering this down, you know, quite a bit, to be honest. Okay. So I'll get on with doing that um, off camera. But the other thing that I'm going to just try, and again, <laughs> I'm just winging this. So let's just, fingers crossed, this is going to work. But I thought, let's try and just coffee dye one or two of these as well. Again, this may be way too dark, so I hope I don't live to regret this, but again, just kind of pasting that onto the flower. I'm not kind of pressing hard or anything. I don't want to, um, you know, damage the structure of the flower or the shape of the flower. I'm just very lightly just dabbing that. I mean, you could also just dip your flowers in and kind of leave them floating around in there for a couple of minutes and work like that. So... But again, you know, this just is, you know, completely transforming them to a completely different look to the bright white that they were. So hopefully they're just going to give that vintagey feel and that vintagey vibe in our journal. So, there, whoops, there we go. And just go around there. So I'm just going to continue with that. And then what I will probably do is pick one or two of the sheets of the patterned paper as well. And I will just do exactly the same. So I'll tear out a couple of sheets and then just literally coffee dye those as well. So that I've got plenty of bits ready for the next video where we'll just make another couple of bits for our journal. But hopefully this has given you some ideas of, you know, things that you can use and how to vintage them up. You, you know, we've been to the shops, we've kind of looked around and seen what might be handy to buy for your journals and um yeah hopefully this has given you some ideas of vintaging your your new stuff up so yeah hope that you had fun and hopefully you'll join me next time so thanks so much for watching and see you guys soon thanks then bye